And of course, that falls down. OK. So ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to talk about is so far in class, um, what we learned about is linear equations, right? And a linear equation is when we most famously could write an equation in y equals mx plus b um, form. Or we also talked about the ax plus by equals c. But that was when we were dealing with linear equations, which we called their graphs, which we'd call lines, correct? Well, now what we're going to talk about is quadratics. And quadratic equations are any equation that we can write in the form of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a cannot equal 0, and a, b, and c are real numbers. All right? So it's important for you guys to understand a couple things. A quadratic. All right, a quadratic equation, all it is, is if you guys look at, when we were looking at a linear equation, right, what, was the, what is the degree of my um, variable in the x on this one? What's the highest degree that I have for it to be a line? What's the degree, what's the exponent of my x? 1, right? So a quadratic, all a quadratic is, it's an equation. where the largest exponent is 2. So let's go through some examples of this. So y equals 3x squared minus 5x plus 1. That's a quadratic equation. All right, And that's a very famous quadratic equation because it's in our form ax where we have an a, b, and a c. However, we don't have to have all these terms for it to be quadratic. You could also say y equals negative 5x squared minus 3. Well, let's do minus 5x squared minus 3x. That's also a quadratic. You could say y equals x squared um, plus 1. That's also a quadratic. The main important thing you guys notice about a quadratic is you have your x's squared. All right? So there's a couple things that we're going to talk about, Dimitri, for quadratics. All right? For quadratics, we have three different terms. The term where we get the quadratic when you have your x squared is what you have is, so that is what the ax squared, so you could say your quadratic term all right, is ax squared. And what that means is whenever you have your variable that's squared, all right, that's what we call your quadratic term. Now, your quadratic term includes your variable and the coefficient of your variable. So obviously, the number that's going to be in front of your variable. Then we have our linear term. And the linear term is what we call bx. Now, why is it a linear term? Well, what's the, what's the, what's the exponent of my, linear, of my linear term? 1, right? And we know that when we have an exponent of 1, that creates a what? A line, right? Hence, linear term, exponent 1, line. All right? And then the last one is we have our constant term. And our constant term is just going to be our number at the end, which we call um, c. All right? Now, there's one important thing I want you guys to understand is if you look at this, what's my constant term for here? Zero, right? You can always write an a. You can always write every quadratic can always be written in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. The main important thing is you can never have just a equals zero. So if I'm looking here, I have my quadratic term, I have my constant term, but how can I write my linear term if it's not written there? Well, you can write it as y equals x squared plus zero x plus one, because zero times x is what? Zero, right? So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's your quadratic equation. All right, that's pretty much the definition of a quadratic equation and our quadra and our three terms. Make sense, Ava? Got it?